Welcome to another episode of Paragon's Favorite Stuff. My name is Drake Roberts, and in this show, I show you all of the things that my partner Monique and I have found most useful aboard our 42-foot sailboat named Paragon. We're making these Paragon's Favorite Stuff videos about once a month in addition to our regular story episodes that tell the ongoing story of our cruising life, voyaging all over the Atlantic. On Paragon's Favorite Stuff, if it's something that we've used aboard our boat and really liked, then we'll show it to you here. And if there's anything aboard our boat that you'd like to see, then just let us know in the comments below. In our last video, I showed you our wonderful wood-burning stove that we've used to heat our boat every winter for the past 10 years. If you missed that one, then you can check it out by clicking the link here. In today's episode, I'm going to show you one of the most indispensable tools that we have aboard the boat, our fantastic sewing machine. <laughs> Sewing machines were always a big mystery to me. I didn't really understand how they worked, and I didn't know if I'd be able to teach myself how to use one. So every time I tore a sail or ripped a piece of canvas on deck, I always needed to bring it to a professional sailmaker for repair. And likewise, if I needed a pair of pants hemmed or an item of clothing repaired, then I'd need to bring it to a professional tailor. All this time, I kept on thinking in the back of my mind, I wonder if I could do this myself, if I only knew how to use a sewing machine. So then, just a couple of years ago, I bought one. It's right here, under the starboard settee. In this video, I'm going to show you our wonderful little sewing machine. I'm going to show you how it works, I'm going to show you all of the things that we've made with it, and then we're going to take the mainsail down and use the sewing machine to repair this huge tear that's in the leech of the sail. This very affordable sewing machine is the Singer Heavy Duty 4411, and it's made a huge difference on our boat. While it may not be the most expensive and capable machine out there, I thought it would be a great machine to learn how to sew with. There are a whole bunch of YouTube videos out there that teach how to sew with this machine. And by watching them, I was able to go from knowing absolutely nothing about sewing to being fairly confident that I can handle just about any sewing project that I'd want to. Here are three pairs of pants that I got at a really great price. And while the waist sizes were perfect, they were all just a little bit too long. No problem. I just watched a video on YouTube on how to hem pants and I could not believe how easy it was. What do you think of my stitching? I did that. There's the inside and these were too long. There's my stitching and the inside. I will never have to pay a tailor to hem pants for me ever again because it's just really simple takes about 20 minutes maybe and all of my pants are the perfect length now <laughs> this is a pair of work pants i was really bummed out when i ripped the knee what do you think of my patch job? While it may not look perfect, I was really happy because I can still use these pants to work in the engine room. The sewing machine came in really handy when I had to replace this entire zipper in the cockpit enclosure. If I had to sew this zipper back in by hand, then it would have taken forever but with the sewing machine, it was a really quick and easy job. If I had paid a professional sailmaker to replace the zipper, then I would have had to take the whole enclosure to a sailmaker shop, and it probably would have been pretty expensive. Actually, there are no sailmakers out here in the Western Isles of Scotland, so I wouldn't have been able to do that anyway. So here's a close-up of the stitching. What do you think? That's on there really, really good. 
And it only cost me the price of the zipper itself and the thread, both of which I got on Amazon. I also made these four canvas covers to go over these four Pelican cases that we have mounted on deck for plugging our solar panels into. We'll just undo this string to take the canvas cover off. This is a Pelican case that I'm using to plug solar panels into. I installed 15 of these waterproof gasketed plugs in these Pelican cases that are all over the boat. And each one is for plugging in a 130 watt solar panel that has the waterproof gasketed seal on it. They plug in like this. And we only have the solar panels up when we're not offshore. When we do go offshore, we take the panels down and we stow them in the dinghy. And that's why I wanted these plugs so I could just unplug them and stow them and plug them back in when we're in a harbor or at anchor. And the Pelican case and the sockets look practically brand new. And that's just because they've been covered with this canvas cover. I also designed the canvas cover so that we can still have it on even when we have the panels plugged into it. Finally, this canvas is treated with a water repellent coating that I just painted on with a brush. So it's very water repellent. My biggest sewing project so far has definitely been to make these custom curtains in the dinette and the galley area. They slide open like this and they are wonderful. I think the curtains that Paragon had when I first bought her were the original ones that came with the boat when she was made in 1976. And after 46 years of use, they looked just awful. They were badly stained and in a lot of places were actually starting to disintegrate. I can't even imagine how expensive it would have been to pay a professional to make these custom curtains. So instead of paying a professional by the hour, I paid just a tiny fraction of that amount just for the materials. I disassembled the old curtains and figured out how they were put together. Then I just copied how the old ones were made. There are six curtains in all, and each one took about a day to make. I had to custom sew the bottoms of each individual curtain at an angle to match the slope of this shelf underneath. So the aftmost curtain is a lot taller than the forwardmost curtain. I think they came out great. Let me show one of them to you. I'll just take it off of the slider here. I bought this lovely fabric at a local fabric store. At the top of the curtain, there's this cool little crinkling happening. That's done with something called the pleat header tape that I bought off of Amazon. On the other side, there's this lining material, which I also got on Amazon. And up top, we've got these plastic sliders. I just took those off of the original curtains and then sewed them into the new ones. My next big project is to sew a huge tear that's in the leech of our mainsail. I discovered the tear last summer while we were in the Faroe Islands, just before we had to push off to sail back to Scotland. At the time, I didn't have any extra sail material to sew onto the tear, and I only had time to do a quick herringbone stitch in the sail by hand to keep it together for our voyage back to Scotland. If you missed that video, you can click on the link in the upper right corner of your screen to see what that was like. The video is called Sewing a Torn Sail by Hand Before Sailing Offshore. So I just bought some heavy sail material and in this video we're going to take that mainsail down and use the sewing machine to fix that big tear. But before we do, I thought I'd give you a little overview to how the machine works. Now this isn't going to be a lesson on how to actually do it, it's more like an overview. The Singer Heavy Duty 4411 sewing machine can handle all types of fabric. It has three needle positions, 11 stitch patterns, a variable speed pedal control, adjustable stitch lengths and widths, and it can make up to 1100 stitches per minute, which is really fast. You turn the machine on with this button right here, and when you do, a light turns on right here over the needle. You sew two or more pieces of fabric together by pushing them under this thing called the presser foot. 
As you do this, this needle right here goes up and down through the fabric and sews two separate threads together into the fabric. The machine comes with this pedal, which you put on the floor. When you press it down with your foot, the needle moves up and down like this. The speed of the needle can be controlled by how hard you press down on the pedal with your foot. From slow to really fast. You can manually control the needle going up and down by turning this big hand wheel on the side. Before we can start sewing, we have to run thread into the machine. The thread comes on a spool like this and first, you need to take a good amount of the thread from the spool and wind it onto this thing, which is called a bobbin. You take your thread and you put it right here and you take this plastic thing and put it on the end. And then you take the thread and you route it to the bobbin. The bobbin has these little holes in it and you put the thread in one of the holes like that, and then you put the bobbin on this post, move it over like that, and then you press on the pedal. It'll wind the thread from the spool onto the bobbin. Here we go. When the bobbin's full, it automatically stops feeding. And there's our bobbin full of thread. You put the bobbin in this little compartment underneath the presser foot, like this. Now that we've got the bobbin all set, the next step is to take the thread from the spool and run it down to the needle, like this. The next step is to put this through the needle by hand. I always have to put on my close-up glasses for this part. Getting the thread to go through the needle can be a little tricky sometimes. There we go. Got it. So we've got our bobbin with its thread here. And we've got our needle with the thread from the spool right here. We're going to turn the hand wheel on the side to make the needle go down and then back up. And as it comes up, it grabbed the thread from the bobbin. I'm going to pull it out. And now what we've got is the thread from the needle here and the thread from the bobbin here. And when we sew, the two of them will be sewn together in the fabric. Here are two pieces of canvas. It's the same canvas that our cockpit enclosure is made out of. I'm just going to put them together like this and put it under the presser foot. And then I'm going to press down on the pedal with my foot. And voila. We have just sewn these two pieces of fabric together. Amazing, huh? This is the pattern selector dial. Using it, you can choose from a variety of stitches. We just did this straight stitch, but if I switch it to this zigzag stitch, Then we get this zigzag stitch. These two dials let you control the length and the width of the stitch. We just did a zigzag stitch with a length of two and a width of two. And I will set the length to four now. And I will set the width to six. So there's the much wider and longer zigzag stitch. So that's what you can do with this machine. I always thought that sewing would be complicated or difficult to learn. So I was really surprised when I discovered that it was actually pretty easy. 
It's amazing what you can learn on YouTube. I just got this big roll of heavy duty sail material to always have on board to repair any damage that we get in our sails. And since we're just about to push off from Scotland to sail to Poland, the time has come to fix the big tear that we have in the mainsail. Before we do that, I want to say thank you to our wonderful sponsor for this video. Thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring this episode. Go to nordvpn.com slash drakeparagon and use the coupon code drakeparagon to get a two-year plan plus one additional month with a huge discount. I've been working on so many projects on the boat, and at the end of the day, I just want to turn on Netflix and watch a couple of episodes of Star Trek. The Great British Baking Show. I was watching it on Netflix when I was in America, and I had no idea I could be so invested in a baking show. Okay, well, hmm. Actually, The Great British Baking Show isn't available on Netflix here in the United Kingdom. Don't worry, we can just use NordVPN. With NordVPN, we can watch all the Netflix shows. How does that work? It's super easy. With NordVPN, we can make our computer look like it's in any one of 60 different countries. And then we can watch all the Netflix shows that are available in those countries. Which means even though we're in Scotland now, we can still watch our favorite shows in America. Their servers are super fast and we can connect to up to six devices from every major platform. Which means we could be watching Mary Berry critique those sad, sad scones on all of our devices. NordVPN keeps all of your internet activity private and secure. And there's a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk just to check it out. Just go to nordvpn.com slash drakeparagon and type in the coupon code drakeparagon to get a two-year plan plus one additional month with a huge discount. I'm going to take the sail off the mast and get it all down here on deck. Then I'll bring the sewing machine out and we'll do the repair right here outside. First we'll unzip the stack pack sail cover. Here's that tear and my hand stitching from last summer. This hand stitching held together just fine on our 250 nautical mile sail from the Faroe Islands back to Scotland, but I would not want to be hove to in an offshore storm with just this hand stitch. The tear is about 16 inches long. I'm going to make a patch about this big on both sides by folding the patch in half. Here's that heavy sail material that I got for this repair, and we'll have tons of it left over for future repairs. The tear is about 16 inches, so I think I'll make the patch about 6 inches longer than that. So 22 inches long total. I'm just going to mark it. And then for the width, I'm going to cut out about 10 inches and then we'll fold it in half so it'll be five inches on each side. Fold this in half. I'm just going to use this wooden box to make a better crease there. That's our patch. I'm also going to load up a new bobbin just like before, but this time I'm going to use this UV resistant high strength polyester thread that's made for sail repairs. Next we'll undo the clips on the front of the stack pack. I'll undo the stack pack lazy jacks on the starboard side so that we can let the sail fall out onto the deck. I'm going to pull out this little clevis pin in the tides marine track on the mast and that'll let these slides fall out of the bottom of the tides marine track letting the whole sail come down onto the deck. Here's that clevis pin. Put that in my pocket. Mm -hmm. 
All right. The machine's all set up. The threads in the machine, the machine's plugged into power, and the pedal is on the deck right here. I'm gonna take this patch and put it right over the tear and then sew a couple of zigzag stitches on each side of the tear. Probably sew a zigzag stitch on the end like that as well. And when I start each stitch, I'm going to go forwards and backwards and a couple of times to lock that stitch in place before going the length. I just want to say that I have never used a sewing machine to sew a sail and I'm not a sail maker and this is all new to me but hopefully it's gonna work. One last thing, you can buy this special double-sided tape for putting on the patch so that you can tape it to what you're putting the patch on to keep it from moving around and I wasn't able to get any of that tape but I do have this double-sided tape that I got at the hardware store so I'm gonna try to use this. I'm going to put this tape right here and I will do one on the other side as well. Let's get this patch on there without any creases. Now the patch isn't going to move around while we're moving it back and forth in the sewing machine. We are all lined up and ready to do our first stitching. I'm going to set it to a length of four and a width of six and set it for a zigzag stitch. Oh, please work. And then we will reverse that stitch. Why are there no stitches? What? Nope. Every time I reverse it, it This isn't going to work. So this did not go like I had hoped. I am unable to sew that patch onto the sail with this machine. I've been trying for hours and everything's going wrong with it. The, the thread keeps on breaking or the stitch just gets really sloppy. I can't make a straight symmetrical zigzag stitch. It's just going all over the place. I've tried everything I can think of to get it to work and no success. So I guess this machine is great for sewing clothes and uh, and canvas and yeah maybe sail repair as well but not through four layers of really heavy sail material. There is another machine out there called the Sailrite machine and uh, it's supposed to be the best machine on earth for doing sail repair. Now that I have learned a little bit about how to use a sewing machine with this guy, I will now save up and buy the Sailrite machine and then sell this one. I'm probably gonna have to sew that patch onto the leech of the sail by hand and I can do that. It'll take a really long time. I, I had really hoped that the sewing machine was going to work. I, I thought it would, but not how I hope this video would end. <laughs> uh, but I guess, you know, we're going to show you all the stuff that really works, that we really like, and maybe also some of the things that didn't really work for us.
If you'd like more information about the Singer Heavy Duty Sewing Machines, then check out the link we've included in the video description. And if there's anything aboard our boat that you'd like us to cover in future episodes, then just let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.